how to become a marketing mogul. Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can become a marketing mogul, right? And first off, we need to cover off the definition. Now, the reason why I say marketing mogul is because, look, I can't promise that you're gonna become a celebrity. I can't promise that you're gonna be in feature films and all that sort of stuff. But I can teach you the way that you, become, you can become a marketing mogul. Now, the definition of mogul is an important person's in, person in the film or TV industry, i.e. Dwayne Johnson, right? He is an important person of that industry. So by using the marketing mogul system, the marketing mogul method, that actually allows you to become the most prominent person, a mogul within your industry. And that's something that all of our clients, we help them to achieve. Now, the only way to do that to become a marketing mogul is for you to be able to identify, leverage, and build the three advertising cycles. Now, the three advertising cycles, I'm gonna explain them to you, but then explain kind of why they're back to front, right? And there's a, there's a method to my madness, guys, so hang on here with me. So number one is content production, right? And we call this the mogul method, which is where you're putting out there, you're putting content out, you're educating people on who you are, what you do, how you do it, and how you can best help them. Right? So you're educating, you're building a pool of audience of warm people who really wanna know what it is that you do. The next level is what we call list acquisition, which is how can you bring people into your world? How can you bring people into consuming your content, downloading your eBooks, your PDFs, your webinars, registering to find out more information about what it is that you do? This is where you're getting them to come in to consume something. You know, we've done plenty of videos you can check out on how to build a list, how to use a list building funnel, all that sort of stuff. But this is to really bring as many people as possible to acquire a list of people who are potentially interested in what it is that you do. Then the last part is what we call the conversion mechanism. This is your, your process, your methodology, where you convert someone from being a prospective person to being an actual client or customer. So this might be a sale on your website, this might be booking a call from a, um, a webinar or an event page, uh, purchasing a ticket, whatever it is for you. This is where you're getting people to actually convert. Right, and so you have your Moogle method, you have your list acquisition, and you have your conversion mechanism, the three advertising cycles. So normally, in an ideal world, if you had a couple million bucks in the bank, you're doing things pretty slowly, you're pretty chilled about how everything flowed, you'd produce some amazing content, maybe kind of like this, then you would start to build a list, you start to acquire people onto your list of who are interested in what it is that you do, then you would convert them. You would get them on a webinar to purchase a product or service that's right for them. Maybe you're on a phone, maybe they buy a ticket to an event, maybe they buy a product, whatever it is for you, and happy days are off to the races. Now, this works if you've got a lot of spare cash, right? Just laying around ready for you to use. If you don't, what you've got to do is you've got to flip that. So what you need to start to identify, if you want to become a marketing mogul, you've got to be able to figure out how can you get it, build something that converts, then you need to also build a list, and then you can provide content to the marketplace. Now, too many people these days think they've got to start off with content, right? It was literally just having a discussion probably two and a half minutes ago with a lady in our office who was going, cool, I need to film it, like, is this backdrop okay for my videos? I need to go and produce this content. When actually, does that matter? Mm -mm. So Sarah, if you're watching, it doesn't matter, all right? What matters is how do you have a conversation with someone who is interested in your products or services? Because you can spend all the time in the world focusing on what content to produce, but if you don't have the conversion mechanism in place where you can have a conversation with people about what you do and then encourage them to take action upon it, you don't have a business, right? You have a Facebook page, which is cool. No, no, I'm not, I'm not poking holes in anyone's businesses here, but I'm saying that's what you need to do to start off with. So to become a marketing mogul, you need to have, number one, that conversion mechanism in place. That is the key. Find out where are you best at working with people. Is it face-to-face? -face? Is it on the phones? Is it at events? Is it on webinars? And you hone that in. You dial that process in to ensure that you can get the most sales possible. Number two, then you go about building your list. Then you get more and more people. This when you want a database so you can send emails out, uh, you can send messenger blasts out. So the two ways and you can do that, number one, email database. Number two, messenger database. You can do LinkedIn groups, Facebook groups, they're still, the jury's still out on them, for me anyway, because they're not a scalable way to put that into your business. You can scale getting people in a messenger. You can scale getting people onto an email database. Other ways, you can't. Next step 
is then the mogul method. That's where you're producing high value content, highly relevant content to people, and you're taking them on a journey, you're taking them on an experience where they get to absorb your content to start off with, then maybe they find out a little bit more about you, how you help people, how you can make a difference in their lives. Then they see what would the ideal life be like if they worked with you in your business? What would there be their inspiration and aspiration for what it is that you do and you provide to people? So most people, like I said before, they try and do it the other way around. They try and do it where they go from content to building a list to then converting people. And uh, look, I'm not saying this because it's all about the money. However, as a business owner, you need to understand economics. You need to understand the monetary flows. If people don't give you money for your products or services because they see value in them, there's no point in creating content. Absolutely no point. Unless you're doing it as part of the advertising cycles, which is putting in place your conversion mechanism, then that's building a list, and then that's giving them content and giving them value in a stacked, layered, strategic way. Because if you don't do that, again, if you just put content out there for the sake of content, that is good, but it needs to have a purpose. It needs to have a strategy. There's a reason why we're doing these videos on YouTube. There's a reason why if you go to Facebook and you watch any of our Facebook content, you see certain videos after that. Everything has a strategy. Everything has a reason behind it. And you just need to figure out what yours is. So again, if you need help with that, you know where we are, yoursocialvoice.com.au. Hit us up. But if you are trying to figure it out for yourself, please don't get things back to front. Don't start with content. Don't then go and look at how do I build a list and then how do I convert. Find out what's the best way for you to connect with your audience. So let's do a recap, guys. For you to become a marketing mogul, what do you need to have? Number one, you need to have the advertising cycles in place. Number two, you need to do them in the right order, which is reverse. I know it sounds crazy, but that's just the best way that we figured out for you to effectively grow your business ongoingly, strategically, to the level that you want to get it to. So don't blame me, all right? It's science, guys. Science is fault, not mine. Now, if you do that, you will have a highly effective business that you can scale, you can pour money into. Everyone's happy as Larry. If you don't, uh, can't tell if you'll be successful or not. It's up to you. I'll leave that in your hands, guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. I don't really mind either way. If you give me a thumbs down though, tell me why. Tell me what I could have done to improve this content for you. What do you want to know more about? What do you want to hear more about? And as always, make sure that you subscribe so that you can see this content before anyone else. All right, guys, until next time, I'm Kim Barrett. Y'all have been awesome. Adios.